is Lunas Macho Monday. Ian Torch here, and wow. I might have to get a hold of a certain Bushido King and find out what the hell's going on. A video of the greatest overkill is all over social media right now. You don't know what it is, then you don't know the Bushido Kings. And speaking of long lost wrestle buddies, there is a huge incident going on at Isolation Wrestling right now. As Wes Borland of Limp Biscuit fame has declared war on the IWF. I gotta find out more about that. Maybe I can get them set up in the hot seat later this week. If, you know, they're not busy celebrating some thing. Everyone's saying there's something going on, but but my my birthday's on Wednesday. And I know for a fact y'all aren't gonna remember. But anyway. Let's get on with the show. We are now beyond War Dome. Ooh, this should be interesting. Oh, uh -huh. Wrestler of the Year, Alexi Monstro. Lady of the Year, Reba Ruffnick. Team of the Year, Gridiron Swish. Most popular wrestler, Dre Apex. Most hated wrestler, Alexi Monstro. Hmm. Most popular wrestler, Thumper Moore. Is he about to get pop? Let's find out. Right, well, that was that was skill. So. He's had plenty of segments. Let's give the big mouth to Professor Wen. All right. Okay. So what did that do? Welcome to Beyond War Dome. Live from the fairgrounds. Finally, a ladies only triple threat that I don't have to manipulate and twist into this. All right. Oh, cause Let's scroll up real quick. Oh, oh, well, let's see here. So we have Reba taking on the champ. Just strange that. Huh. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. So let's do. Yeah, Brooklyn Bell. Sweet Jane. Siberia. Eliza Brat because she just has to ma make the scene. Sweet Jane's going to stand alone, and we're going to get an MVP perform. Maybe not MVP performance. Uh, 
Oh, hell, Brooklyn Bell should play both sides. All right. Let's see here. The belts are on the line. It's max contract against Morbid and Apex. And they're going to go to war. Well, it's war dome, but... There we go. We're gonna go all over the arena. Yeah. TV title. Who will he be taking on? Enu. Kenji. Yoshimi. Yeah, let, let, let's shake things up. Yoshimura. Wrestling clinic against the standard bear. This is going to be in a cage. Well, the world title. Brought to you by Boob Tube. It's going to be in a prison cell. And Donnie's going to be there one way or another for his tag partner. And let's do a random last man standing match. With McBastard. And Reaver? Nah. Yeah. Let's do it. So. Winner of this brutal match. We'll get a shot at the TD title. Next month. And I think we know who the tag team is going to be. Brick City wants to be remembered for sure.
Yeah, the paper chasers also are wanting to get back into the limelight. And here we go, folks, starting this show off with a triple threat ladies falls count anywhere match. Worth the belt, Brett, and of course, Sweet Jane, but a Sweet Dreams out of nowhere gets the win. The belts are on the line in this tag team tables match as Max Contract and Morbid Apex lock horns. Who's going through the pine? Will Max Contract remain undefeated or will this be the dawning of a new era? Apex and Gridiron. Swish has gotten in there. In comes Morbid. And with the posterizer through the table, Max Contract retains the belts. What's going on back there? What? Why are those two coming out of the commissioner's office? What is going on, folks? And now this last man standing match for a shot at the TV title at the next pay-per-view. Ziggy Thresh laying into McBastard and with the death wish, McBastard isn't getting up. This cage match for the TV title. This, this right here is pure athleticism. Shaolin, Yoshimuro, they are not letting up. This is skill, athleticism, and tradition. And with a listen closely as he scales the cage, Yoshimuro is your new champion. What are these two doing? Uh, Brick City, you're really getting the crowd riled up with that one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event as the defending champion Zed goes against Pendragon in a prison cell match. And with the heart piercer, we have a new champion! Miprendi and Jiro! How do you end the year? That is how you end the year! Sweet Jane just drove, dove off the upper deck onto Brooklyn Bell below. Count to three. This one is over. Morbid is splayed out on the table. Here comes Swish. Crash! Ring the bell. It's over. Looks like Richie B and Avarice have the commissioner's ear. And the future is looking bright. What an epic battle this has been. Mick Bastard is totally down and out. Can Ziggy Thrash make it to his feet? Looks like, yes, he's done it. He's won the match. Ring the bell. Yoshimuro is in total control. He's climbing the cage. Will he escape? Yes, he's done it. It's over. Banger and Hustler let everyone know there is no tag team that is better. This one has devolved into an actual prison riot. Pendragon has Zed beaten to a pulp, and there's the cover. One, two, three. Well, folks, we have new champions going into the new year. This is very exciting. And let's not forget, things are picking up a little bit in the wrestling business. So remember to like, share, and subscribe. That notifier right there, why don't you click it to see what's going on every time these come up. And this following year, I will be far more on top of it than I have been in the past. I can promise you that. One way or another, it's going to smooth out. New decade, new vibe. Hopefully you get everything you want and much, much more. But until next time, I'm Ian Torch. This has been Lunas Macho Monday. And that's it. It's over. Ring the bell.